everyone. Hello. It's Francisca and Andre. We were part of the team in 2011 to 2015-ish for me. Um, team Nerd from 2013. Um, team Do It All for 2013. I was a captain for the American Dragons for 2013 as well. Pretty good year in my humble opinion. Um, we joined Dragon Boat because everyone in my workplace was doing it and Andre joined because I told him to. <laughs> not so true. Uh, we wanted to do some exercise outside and in Singapore, you know, not a lot of opportunities to do so without getting completely sweaty and so just getting on the water felt like the best, uh, best thing they could do. Made a lot of friends, uh, was definitely a highlight of our time in Singapore. Uh, we basically left the team, not because we were tired of dragon boating, we still dragon boat today. Uh, we've been dragon boating... Um, uh, and represented Australia, just saying. Uh, and competitively <laughs> uh, since. Uh, it's just becomes part of, our, part of uh, who we are now. So definitely a big impact American Dragons had on, on us. Even though uh, our first training was two weeks before the 10K and we were bench buddies. For those who true. don't know us, we are not... Bench buddy we, we did we, we were bench buddies uh, for that one time uh, I think the boat was kind of probably sideways uh, but it was fun I remember that very first night we went home and I could barely move uh, and I just you know I was so tired and so sore but that was just you know I was hooked uh, lots of great memories um, on the Arpit's, team. Arpit's wedding 2013. Arpit's, Arpit's wedding 2013, definitely a highlight. Boracay. Uh, Boracay. With 104 peddlers at Singapore. Um, Singaporean barbarians. The Singapore River Regatta, when it rained and they cancelled the races and we just had a massive party in the rain. I think there's still some videos and photos of that uh, going outside. That was definitely one of the highlights. Uh, and then uh, winning the cup. Uh, at Singapore River Regatta again. 2014, we got the cup back. It was my last race. The women's won the, the overall category and we won the non-expect, to won to non-expect teams. That was amazing. I was drumming that boat and it was the best feeling on a dragon boat race in Singapore. It was pretty good. We were also involved at uh, an outrigger. Uh, I clearly remember uh, unloading our first OC, American Dragons OC, off of the shipping container. Um, I think it was a Saturday morning. Um, container went into Sentosa and we just started, you know, taking it out. And we had the the blessing of the boat. And Do you remember crashing the OC? I remember crashing and break an OC. <laughs> <laughs> breaking who was? Corbin's, Corbin's toe. toe. Yeah. That was a that was a fun uh, fun uh, channel crossing uh, with a turn into a into a pillar. So, but uh, yet again, you know, you capsize a boat in, in Singapore, and you're like, oh, you know, it's just, no, you know, water's quite nice. Uh, here in Australia, you capsize the boat; it's a bit bit colder. Um, win <laughs> so winter training can also be a, a bit tougher, but. You know. So yeah, for those who don't know us, we are based in Melbourne. So if you come to Melbourne, feel free to drop us uh, a message. We are still part of a team right now, um, even though we are more now occupied with this little one. Um, we will be happy to get you onto a boat into some uh, cooler water training for sure. Yep, get you some doing, doing some long distance, uh, long distance. The 10k training is Sunday warm up, by the way. So. Um, that was a, a bit of a shock. So anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Hope American Dragons is still, uh, you know, paddling hard and partying harder. That was the motto when we were there. And, um, and happy 15th anniversary. Happy 15th anniversary. Bye. Bye.